Hey everyone, Dr. Mike here. Today we're focusing on your mental well-being. Taking care of our mental health is crucial for a happier life. I know you're busy, but mental health matters. Here are seven simple ways to boost your mental health. These tips fit into your routine without a complete overhaul. Ready to feel more energized and resilient? Let's jump in. We all know exercise is good for our bodies, right? But did you know it's like a superpower for your mind too? When you get moving, your brain releases endorphins, those feel-good chemicals that act like natural mood boosters. Think of it like hitting the reset button on your brain. Feeling stressed or anxious, a brisk walk, a bike ride, or even some dancing can work wonders. And the best part? You don't need to train like an Olympian to reap the benefits. Even moderate exercise a few times a week can make a huge difference. Find an activity you enjoy and get moving. Your mind and body will thank you. We are what we eat, and that includes our mental state. Just like a car needs the right fuel to run smoothly, so does your brain. A balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein can significantly impact your mood and energy levels. Think of it this way, those sugary snacks and processed foods might give you a quick energy spike, but they often lead to crashes later, leaving you feeling sluggish and irritable. On the other hand, nourishing your body with whole foods provides sustained energy and supports healthy brain function. Remember, you don't have to be perfect. Start by making small, sustainable changes to your eating habits, and you'll be amazed at the difference it can make. Sleep is not a luxury, it's a necessity. When you don't get enough shut-eye, your mental health takes a hit. You might feel more irritable, have trouble concentrating, and even make decisions you wouldn't usually make. Think of sleep as a nightly reset for your brain. It's when your body and mind repair and recharge, allowing you to wake up feeling refreshed and ready to take on the day. Struggling to get a good night's sleep? Try establishing a relaxing bedtime routine, keeping your bedroom cool and dark, and avoiding caffeine and alcohol before bed. Sweet dreams. Chapter 4. Connection is key nurturing your social bonds. Humans are social creatures and strong social connections are vital for our mental well-being. Spending time with loved ones, whether it's family, friends, or even your furry companions, can do wonders for your mood and overall happiness. Think about it. Laughter, shared experiences, and feeling supported all contribute to a sense of belonging and purpose. In today's busy world, it's easy to let social connections slip. Make an effort to schedule regular time with loved ones, even if it's just a quick coffee date or a phone call. Remember, quality over quantity. Chapter 5. Finding Your Center Mindfulness and Meditation In our fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle. That's where mindfulness and meditation come in. These practices help you tune into the present moment, calming your mind and reducing stress. Think of it like hitting the pause button on a racing mind. Mindfulness involves paying attention to your thoughts, feelings, and sensations without judgment. Meditation, on the other hand, often involves focusing on a single object, sound, or breath to quiet the mind. Even a few minutes of daily practice can make a world of difference. There are plenty of apps and online resources available to guide you. Find what works best for you and start incorporating mindfulness into your day. Chapter 6. Setting Yourself Up for Success – Realistic Goals Setting goals gives us a sense of purpose and direction. But when those goals are unrealistic or overwhelming, they can have the opposite effect, leaving us feeling inadequate and stressed. The key is to set small, achievable goals that you can build on over time. Think of it like climbing a staircase. You wouldn't expect to reach the top in one giant leap. Break down larger goals into smaller, more manageable steps. Celebrate your accomplishments along the way, no matter how small they may seem. Remember, progress over perfection. Chapter 7. Don't hesitate to reach out. Seeking professional help, just like any other aspect of our health, sometimes we need a little extra help. There's no shame in seeking professional support for your mental health. If you're struggling with persistent sadness, anxiety, or other mental health concerns, a therapist or counselor can provide valuable guidance and support. Think of it like going to the doctor for a physical ailment. Seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. There are resources available to help you navigate challenging times and work towards a happier, healthier you. Your journey to a healthier mind starts now. Seven simple ways to boost your mental health. It's an ongoing journey. 
Start with one or two tips and add more gradually. Small changes make a big difference. Be kind to yourself. It's okay to not be okay. Seeking support is strength. Prioritize your mental health. You deserve it.